Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 15th, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great evening. You're ready to crank it up on this Friday. It looks like we have a good bullish morning starting out. Let's take a look at what the charts have to tell us, and then we'll move on from there. Well, first off, we have a trend that's just incredible. The bulls are relentless right now. It doesn't seem to matter what occurs. They just want to go higher. And so we're moving on through. We've broken on through these resistance levels, new record highs yesterday. Even though we pushed down a bit earlier in the morning, rallying right back up, we cannot find um, any selling that holds any traction at all. We sell a little bit and they bring it right back up, sell a little bit, and they bring it right back up. So right now, bulls are definitely in control. They are holding strong. Now, we had some news that suggested that um, they may finally get to the end of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade deal, that uh, there's been some breakthroughs there and that there may be an imminent passing of that which is nice that helped to inspire the markets higher and then um kudlow came out and had some positive comments he's bullish on um the the opportunity of the u.s china trade deal it seems like that just seesaws back and forth with political rhetoric i don't know what you can believe out of that but the way this market is reacting right now we get bad news and we take initial reaction lower and then resume the uptrend. And then when the when we have some good news on the same sub subject, even though it doesn't appear to be moving along, we react higher to that as well. So right now, everything is coming up roses here for the market and the bulls are in strong control overall. We're looking at a gap up this morning, significant gap up actually. Considering how far we've run, we're, we're moving up in the Dow right now, showing 88 points, and that is continuing to get stronger. Um, actually, it just ticked up to 91 points as I was speaking. So right now, bulls are firmly in control. They're looking to gap the market higher this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also looking very, very strong here. Doesn't seem to be any stopping um, this right now. We have this incredible trend moving up here in the market. They don't want to pull this back at, um, at all, so we're just looking higher. We have very, very good technicals overall in the chart. You know, when we when we run a trend this strongly, I always get a little bit worried that eventually it could end badly. But right now, there's no clues to that whatsoever. Bulls are firmly in control. And as you can see, we're gapping higher here this morning in the um, S&P 500 to new record highs. Let's take a look at the cues. Q is also maintaining a very, very bullish look here in the market. Though we've had this little bit of back and forth consolidation, um, the market is pushing higher this morning and substantially higher this morning. And the NASDAQ is looking to open at new record highs this morning with a strong bullish push. Although we didn't get, it's kind of interesting, we, we get enough earnings reports that aren't inspiring. Um, uh, looking um, well, not so good. Um, NVIDIA reported earnings, and although we're moving just very, slightly higher this morning, there was really no major inspiration in that um, NVIDIA report last night. So it's kind of surprising um, how we can continue to move like this. We had um, Walmart report great earnings, and they just sold that right back off, but we still were able to make new record highs. Kind of interesting how this market is working. We're pushing on key select stocks, moving things up. Now this morning, we get just enough bullish um, news to re-inspire um, the market, and it looks like we're just gonna blow through. It may be broader base today, 
and really um, rally to the upside. Now, one of the things you always want to think about in a market like this, where we're just relentlessly bullish, remember there will be a day that it stops. And so one thing we always have to think about in a big gap up open is the possibility that that gap up open will be the high of the day. Don't know that that's going to be the case, but we always have to be aware of the possible pop and drop when we shoot up um, in the morning um, and then we could run into sellers up there. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'm not suggesting that that could be the case, but we always want to keep that in mind um, as a possibility. So you want to be careful not to chase the morning open. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX here. Now the VIX continuing, continuing to be very, very, um, uh, low here or we just have really no fear at all in the market and although we spiked up just a little bit the last couple of days on those gap down opens you can see we gap up um, on when the market gap down but then the bulls just immediately step in and rally it back up and um, so there's really nothing here to worry about right now in the VIX um, other than maybe a little complacency. And that's one of the things you have to think about on a big gap up, up open to a new high like this, that it could be that could be the end. That could be the blow off top. I don't want to predict that. I'm just say, suggesting that possibility does exist. So think about that and be careful not to chase this morning. But one of the things that we will likely see is we'll likely see that VIX down in here moving lower this morning coming back down toward that level of support so not no fear here and there's really no clues whatsoever of a pullback just yet let's take a look at t21 22 t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio i do think it's interesting yesterday where we made new record highs and yet we pulled back a little bit in T2122. What that means is that the, is that the rally was not all that broad based. We were we were pushing on very select stocks, keeping the market higher. So that can be some kind sometimes a warning sign that we're losing steam, that institutions are pushing really hard on select issues to keep the market higher. Now it's working good this morning. Um, certainly no conspiracy theories or anything like that. This this happens from time to time, but we'll want to be really careful on chasing the gap up open this morning, just in case there happens to be some sellers uh, that come in there. Give it a few minutes. Let's wait and see if there's some action actually some follow through this morning after this gap up pushing it on higher then we're probably clear for uh, more of a push let's take a look at um, by the way what this tells us is is we're in a situation where we have plenty of upside room to move and we also have plenty of downside room to move but I wouldn't expect much downside right now because those bulls are still firmly in control let's take a look um, at our economic calendar this morning our economic calendar has a lot to say about what the market is going to do this morning we have a heavy um, report day but only two things that are really um, really market moving one being retail sales first thing here at 8 30 this morning we we'll want to watch that pretty closely now right now a uh, consensus is suggesting a slight decrease in that retail sales but staying positive that if that is the case um, I doubt the uh, the market's going to react much to that and probably not focus on it at all um, so keep that in mind if it's a surprise however that would be uh, substantial but i gotta tell you um uh, uh, consumers seem to be very very strong there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of worry about that we have empire state manufacturing that can move the market around particularly if there's a surprise import export prices and then the industrial production number would be one of the bigger ones today as well at 9 15 to pay attention to to see whether or not that's going to have any kind of effect on the market business inventories after that of course we still have a fed speaker later on today but that's after market close so nothing to worry about there let's take a look 
at a few stocks that could be setting up, that could be um, something you want to put on a watch list. But before I do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos and if these videos seem to be helpful to you or have any helpfulness to you, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that um, uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, I, I really try um, hard to look at the technicals in this to avoid the hype and all of the all of the drama that we sometimes see um, in these markets and just look at the technicals and, and see what's going on here because um, I do believe price is king and if we learn to just follow price action we can trade virtually any market so focus on that price action in the chart and that's my purpose of doing this. Now, I've done this for a long, long time and um, have been able to make a living doing this now for nearly 15 years. This has been very helpful to me. And if you find it being helpful to you, please make sure and click that thumbs up and, and leave a comment. That helps our channel continue to grow. And thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up that could be t potentially be something that you want to put on a watch list. Remember, none of the stocks that I bring up in the video are meant as a buy or sell recommendation. Um, they're not an encouragement to buy any security whatsoever. But if you find this useful, you might want to put some of these stocks on your list. Maybe watch them closely, evaluate them carefully, and see if they make some sense to you. Let's take a look at... Altria here. Altria is one I've been watching fairly closely. Um, you can see it has this nice little downtrend that, well, not little, big downtrend that's been broken and held to the upside. So we broke through, held that downtrend, starting to rally up, and we're showing some signs of bullishness here, breaking through some resistance um, areas in the chart. Now, one of the things that concerns me about um, Altria is this whole vaping issue going on. And I'm not really sure what that will mean to this stock, but let's watch this pretty closely. We broke through that resistance, we've pulled back, and we're just trying to um, consolidate here just a little bit right above that little level of support. If we can find some buyers in here, let's keep an eye on that. The possibility of that moving on higher does exist. Um, another stock, and, and I've mentioned this a couple, three times, is O'Reilly that I'm keeping a close eye on. O'Reilly broke through a major resistance level in the chart on their gap up in earnings. Very, very strong move. Now, if I continue this trend out here, this may have a lot more consolidating move or pullback that has to occur, occur before this can move up. But one thing I think is kind of interesting in this chart is as we've moved up, we're really starting to tighten up this consolidation in here. Today just might be the day where we get enough bullishness in the market to push this on through. Watch that pretty closely. Um, by the way, we could also sharpen up this trend by just coming off of these last lows. That would suggest maybe another week or so in this resting pattern, but let's keep an, an eye on O'Reilly. It's looking pretty good overall. Let's take a look at um, AXP. AXP had a really nice day yesterday, gapping down a little bit in the morning, but rallying sharply at the end of the day. And as you can see, there's that trend and we've broken our downtrend held it as support, began that rally, broke through some significant levels of resistance in the chart, and we're holding those as support. So we're looking pretty good here overall. Might wanna put AXP on your list for that possibility of breaking through, popping on out. Um, pretty darn nice chart. How about UNH? Now UNH, I've had an alert on here, and we've bounced around here just a little bit. UNH, really nice bullish day yesterday. So we broke through this major resistance area in the chart. And as you can see, showing some significant strength here. Now I'm gonna place a trend right in here, and you can see how that kind of all ties together. And this bullishness this morning may give us an opportunity to move on up. Now healthcare stocks have been really 
really st strong um, in this market. So let's watch this. We broke through that resistance, pulled back to the trend, bullish engulfing candle. I would keep an eye on UNH to see if that can follow on through to the upside. How about Honeywell? Now Honeywell pulled back yesterday. We've had a really nice uh, big move in Honeywell, breaking through resistance levels, holding a nice trend to the upside. And although we pulled back yesterday in this chart, I'm not too worried about this yet unless we break down through this trend. So if we can hold up in here, maybe a couple more days of rest and then see an opportunity for that to pop on through. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on um, Honeywell here in the chart. So let's take a look at um, AMD. Now, AMD is one I brought to everyone's attention a few days ago, and AMD is one of those stocks that I've been pointing out here this morning, of uh, those possible trend moves. So we have that beautiful upside trend, very, very strong, had broken through resistance levels. We consolidated over the trend and bang, up to the upside. So a lot of folks in right-way options have already made um, significant uh, money on um, AMD, and it continues to look very very strong here don't be surprised if we get some kind of a rest or pullback soon notice it's gapping up this morning so be careful not to chase um, this stock but it's just one of those examples why you want to be watching these charts this way watching those trends and seeing how those uh, prices uh, key themselves right off of those trends another one to take a look at I think is Costco Costco um, had a good move up some folks on right way options made some nice money here on Costco this week we have this trend here in Costco now we are dealing with price resistance in this chart there's no doubt about that so we popped back up holding that trend ran into that resistance and we kind of stalled right there let's watch this and see if this will consolidate or pull back uh, back over to its trend um, as it deals with this resistance for that opportunity to maybe move on higher here in Costco so keep an eye on that chart um, let's see Cree Cree is one that I was watching and this thing um, here's one that just fell all apart we um, notice how these levels are important in a chart um, we break that downtrend we hold it as support we rally through we start testing resistance levels and i place a price alert here waiting to see if we can bounce off of that and of course we crossed down and failed so these price levels are very important and it prevents me from getting into bad trades you know one of the things that that's important to becoming a a profitable trader is making sure you limit your bad trades and by me uh, putting my time and energy into price action like this I, I miss a lot of bad trades or losing trades just simply because I'm waiting for the trade to come to me I'm not chasing a trade and the reason I'm bringing that up is how important it is this morning with the market gapping up be careful not to chase be careful not to do that make the trade actually come to you meaning that we need to see after that market open we may need to see a little rest a little pullback a little consolidation in the intraday chart and then see those bulls actually pick this up and prove that they want to push on through and just like in this chart here we never got we never found those bulls um, with enough energy to push on through and consequently um, you avoid trades like that don't have to worry about them take a look at John Deere now John Deere um, looked like things were going pretty darn well um, moved up very very strongly um, any kind of worry over trade seems to be affecting John Deere substantially John Deere could move back up with the new hope here on trade deal but we want to watch this carefully having broken this support in the chart I think John Deere needs to come back up and prove that it can hold up above there before we have that opportunity to go higher. So it's one to have on the list, one to watch, but I'd be really careful um, in that chart just for a little while um, in uh, watching it closely. Take a look at Roku. Roku, interesting chart here. Um, rallied up broke down substantially, and as you can see, just reacted terribly to its earnings. But 
it's just interesting that nothing gets held down in this market right now so we've rallied right back up now what's important to this is we don't want to chase this move up but if if um, Roku rests or pulls back consolidates something like that and reestablishes a trend there may be an opportunity here in Roku so keep that one in mind and on your list so I hope that was helpful, everyone. I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. I want to wish you great profits. And more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Be safe, everyone. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you all right back here, bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the very, very best. Have a good one.